Hello, I'd like to show everyone my homemade power station and I call it the Philips Tech 800 series which it has your 115 volt uh, inverter, 800 watt inverter built inside. I got my main power switch here which here's your voltage readout and this one actually activates the inverter Here you got your voltage reading on it, then you have your wattage used. Once you plug something in, it'll show you the wattage you're pulling from the battery bank. And then you have your voltage, of course. So let me go ahead and pop the lid and show you what I got in here. Instead of using batteries, I've decided to use the power caps. I actually found an excellent usage out of these things. Um, I got six of them here tied in series so you can charge it up to 14.6 up to 15 volt max I wouldn't go anything past that but I also have a little voltage current regulator circuit here which is very convenient very nice you just do your input voltage um, which I actually hooked up here and it's actually a solar panel. This is a 100 watt uh, flexible solar panel which has an excellent output range, 18 volts. Let's go ahead and look at it here. Let's move this out of the way. Here's the specs on this, 18 volt, 5.55 amps output. So this is a really nice panel. It does an excellent job in the sun which I will demonstrate and show you but it plugs right into here which it goes right to the actual bank here and it goes through here regulates the power and the current at exactly 14.4 volts which will keep this around 14.6 volt and the current can go up to 8 amps output on it so 400 watts little converter here which is very nice um, then I also have a built-in homemade generator which you can spin and this will actually charge up the capacitor bank as well if you don't have no sunlight to do it and it's just all portable power and there's my little inverter circuit that's actually came out of a Duracell inverter which is very nice um, but I'll show you how it works and it does an excellent job in providing power when you need it. You can also use this other cigarette lighter for like an air compressor, uh, one of those little plug-ins to charge your phone. You can plug right into that and then charge up your iPhones, your tablets, all that stuff. Excellent. So I will show you the power this thing can produce and being capacitors you can charge it right back up and even maintain the charge with the 100 watt panel plugged in outside. You can do all kinds of stuff with this thing. All right, I'm going to take it outside and show you what it can do. All right, everyone, I got my solar panel hooked up. I went ahead and took it outside. You can see it out up there. I got my cord running down, and I plug right into my cigarette lighter here. And it's charged completely to 14.6 volt, and that's reading 14.5, but as you can see, my settings here. I set it at 14.4 volt on here, and you can see it's fluctuated. So it's going to maintain that uh, constant voltage and constant current coming through, whatever it needs and desires. But as you can see here, I got my saw saw. This is the 300 watt jigsaw. So we're going to see what this thing does and how fast it charges back up. So let's go ahead and run this. Now let's see how fast this thing takes. You can see right there, putting 100 watts back into it, it doesn't take long at all to charge these caps back up. So you can do some pretty good work outside. Just plug up your panel. Uh, if you're working outside cutting wood with saws, uh, using drills, jigsaws, whatever you need, power lighting, whatever it is, um, it doesn't take long at all to bring the power back into these caps, as you can see. It's already back there, 14.6.
So there you go. Well, that's my power station. Um, I'm probably going to add on some more features, probably put it some LED light in, some super bright LED light in that's designed for the 12 volts to 14 volt on the capacitors, which those things would run for hours and hours, a long time. And then you can use your generator for at night time just to crank it a few times to get it right back up to the voltage. And then you'll have an awesome flashlight at night for camping, doing all kinds of stuff. But that's my system. So let me know your comments, okay? Y'all have a great day.